My name is Clark, and I am Proud and Curly. Welcome to the Proud and Curly podcast, the podcast all about celebrating naturally curly hair. I'm Sierra, your host and founder, also known as C. Johnson on YouTube and Instagram, and you, my girlfriend, are in the right place. Every Friday, you'll get new insight and curlspiration on how to manage and maintain your natural curls. It doesn't matter if your hair is a wavy 2A type, a kinky 4C texture, or if you're anywhere in between. After the episode, the conversation always continues on the Proud and Curly Instagram page, so be sure to follow us there. Hi guys, welcome to the fourth episode of the Proud and Curly podcast. In today's episode, we're talking about how natural hair can be achievable for the newbie novice and how to embrace that process of going natural. Today, we're talking with Clark Davis. A quick little news update, I made a Facebook page for Proud and Curly, so please go and follow us there. It's brand new, so we have like no followers, but I would love if you could follow us there because I feel like that would be a really good place for us to discuss episodes and I could share more things like memes and gifs and you know. I feel like my Instagram is just so aesthetically pleasing that I don't want to mess that up. So Facebook, we could share more and it's even better just to have text posts. So I can get you guys this input on there. So follow us on Facebook, just Proud and Curly. Also, any links that we reference in today's episodes will be in the show notes as usual. And if you're curious to see Clark's hair, head over to Proud and Curly Instagram page, It'll be on the Facebook as well. So let me go ahead and introduce my roomie and good friend, Clark Davis. I also met Clark in college and we were roommates for the past three years. Now the girl is an established graphic designer living her best life in LA. I witnessed and may have inspired her to embrace her natural hair, but she went from straightening her hair every single day to cutting her hair off coiling her transitioning curls, and now rocking her signature tapered curly afro with the shave sides. And be sure to stay tuned till the end for some inspiring tips, even for you, that she tells us in the fire round called the Curly Five. All right, let's bring her in. Hi, Clark. Thank you for joining the podcast all the way from LA. Hi. I'm so excited to delve in into your story, but first go ahead and tell the people a little bit about yourself. Um, yeah, so I, I currently live in LA, um, but I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I'm a graphic designer. I recently graduated from SCAD, Savannah College of Art and Design. Uh, yeah, and um, we were That's roommates. Crazy. Yeah, right. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes. Me and am I talking in third person or first? I don't know. <laughs> what? Me and like, you. <laughs> like, yeah, like me and you or Sierra and I were. Uh, no, like, you could just talk like you're talking to me. Oh. I probably would oh, be the yeah. one talking like, oh, yes. Clark was my roommate. And is that what you mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. We're so nervous, so. Okay. Okay, anyways. I guess that's, is that everything about you? Your graphic designer, LA, Atlanta, Savannah. Yeah. Yeah, that's And you have a cool haircut. That's what I've been told. (laughs) Okay. Well, let's go back in time, back to when it all started. Um... Let's talk about your hair as a child and like how you felt about it. What was your hair like? Like how did your mom style your hair? Stuff like that. Uh, Yeah. So um, I guess when I was younger, when I was a kid, um, my hair was pretty long, I'd say. Um, And my mom used to like, twist it up and um put the what do you call them those little like hair tie the, things yeah, the little the with the little yeah little like plastic ball things on them um yeah she used to put my hair in those which funny story I actually fell on one of those and now <laughs> there's like a dent in my head so that's nice uh, <laughs> 
So I don't know if I would recommend those to children, honestly, but I think I mean, everyone I it, had them and everyone got hurt by them. Oh, well, I was just extra special and I got extra hurt by one. So I used to like twist my head around and you know how like they would like fly and then like one time it hit me bad in the eye, but yeah, but you have like a dent in your head. So that's. It's probably a bit weird. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I guess I didn't really think about my hair at all, really, until, like, uh, maybe middle school. My mom made me start, like, taking care of it myself. And I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> I guess hair is a thing. Like, oh, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, what do I do with this? <laughs> so what how did you style your hair yeah I guess right around then is where is when I started uh like straightening my hair did you have a perm uh, at any time or uh yeah I did um I guess during that time my mom would like take me with her when she got her hair done and she'd just be like yeah just go ahead and like yeah, they gave me a perm and she said that like that's what I like needed to do. So, I was like, "Oh, okay." Like it it literally it was like a need or something like I had to do that or else you couldn't get your hair done. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know, it just would have been there was no other alternative. It's just like, yeah, that's just what you do. Yeah. I think that was just yeah. like, you know, that's just how like our parents were like kind of raised and that's just what they did. That's how they knew how to take care of their hair. There weren't like products or like other things for them. So yeah, that's how you did it, which yeah sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, especially I guess just didn't like not really have a choice in the matter um mm. not that not that at that age I even would have had any other choice like because at that age you just pretty much listen to whatever your parents are telling you how old were you um, uh I guess like seventh grade so whatever age that is like 12 or so oh, okay there was never really any other option. It was just like, this is how I'm supposed to take care of my hair or like where is how I'm supposed to wear my hair. So, yeah. Yeah. So like into high school, is that just still how you felt? Cause I don't know. I met you just, you know, you, I don't think you had, were getting perms anymore, but you were still pressing your hair. So I don't know like what happened in between but I know you said something about like you used to run track so it was like easier to I think perm your hair I think we um, talked about it before yeah I guess that was the only aspect of uh straightening and perming my hair uh, that I didn't like or agree with was that I was um, I was pretty athletic in high school and I played a bunch of sports and, um, which meant, you know, I was constantly like sweating and, uh, it sweat out. Oh, the, you sweat the perm out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I like sweat it out and I would sweat out like, so it would be, it would just be like poofy. Like it wasn't because uh. it still was straight, but it wasn't bone straight or whatever so it would just be like poofy because my hair it wasn't it wasn't like it was reverting to being curly like it was past curly at that point because it was just so like pressed and like straightened all the time that it if it you know if there's sweat if there's water in it it didn't get curly it just got just big and crazy big and unruly and <laughs> just wild I don't, I don't even know <laughs> Um, not the look but, you're going for. Yeah, just not the look I'm going. Like 
that's all I really knew. I was just like, I don't know. I don't really know what's happening, but I know this is not <laughs> what I'm going for. Uh, whatever's going on here. Um, so that was uh, more annoying in high school. And then the whole like, definitely, I felt like I couldn't swim or like if it rained it was like a stressful time like (laughs) it was just very limiting and I didn't know why I was doing any of this or stressing about it I just thought that that was the way my hair worked I guess we can move on to like college life (laughs) yeah college um yeah, so now you're I, away from home, so it's like right. So yeah, when you move away from home, um, you have more freedom to kind of explore what you want without kind of the pressures of, um, you know, always making someone else that someone else usually family like happy. You can kind of just step <laughs> out and, or even just high school people, like people that you've known you know, all of a sudden you think they're going to look at you differently or something. And so like when you first go to college, it's like you literally know no one. So you can kind of just do whatever you want. Um, And I, and I went to, so yeah. So, I mean, Sierra knows this, but when I, (laughs) when I first went to, um, when I I first went to college, I went to um, Howard university in Washington, D.C., which is um, an HBCU, uh, which means historically black university, (laughs) college and university. Um, So basically, yeah, it was all people pretty much, I mean, pretty much for the most part with like my kind of hair. I mean, granted, there's so many varieties of like curl patterns and stuff like that. But in general, in the general sense, it was people with hair similar to mine. Um, And I guess that was the first time I started to see that there were so many different things you could do with your hair, so many different ways you could wear it. Um, And they were all like proudly natural and like wearing their curls or like not even I mean yeah like some a lot of people were natural but even um people who weren't like I don't know if they weren't natural it wasn't necessarily that their hair was just bone straight slicked down like they might you know uh curl it you know even with the the flat iron you know still you know put some kind of texture put some kind of curl in it or you know Mm -hmm. uh, just a variety of different yeah yeah, just like a variety of different ways like literally all I knew was just like straight as possible like just that's it and like I don't know it was just like interesting to see so many different um like styles um and stuff uh, and then, yeah, and then that was also the first time really that I experienced a lot of people with uh, with natural hair, wearing their natural, embracing like their natural curl patterns and stuff. And like, um, that was really cool. Like, that was really cool to see. Um, I, but I still, I think the first... Uh, I guess I was there for like two, yeah, I was there for two years um, before I transferred. But in that two years, um, it was important for me to see all of that happening, but I think it still didn't process that it was a possibility Mm. for me to wear my hair in a different way. Like, it was just kind of like, oh, that's cool. Like, yeah other people are doing cool things but me (laughs) i don't know yeah Yeah. just like well me i've always worn my hair this way so i'm just you know i was just like settled in my whatever i was used to and that's Um, what you knew yeah it's just what i knew so i didn't want to go make some random change that i knew nothing about um and like even yeah like even if i saw people 
with natural hair or whatever. Like I didn't know what it took to get to that point or I didn't know how they were taking care of their hair. Mm-hmm. I just saw the, the end product, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Just like, oh, that's nice. That's really cute. I like it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, wow, that's great. Like, good for them. <laughs> <laughs> straight and straight and straight. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Aww. All right. So it's starting to change. And then you come to SCAD. And you meet little old me. Yeah, I met this <laughs> crazy individual by the name of Sierra Johnson. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, she's doing all sorts of wild things. And this this crazy individual named oh, Sierra oh Johnson. God. Why am I so crazy? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you're just doing all sorts of things to your hair like every other week. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Um, but yeah, at this point, yeah. I'm like transitioning and I'm like, Well, I think I had already cut all the perm out of my hair, actually. So I was just, like, trying to fully wear my hair natural. And I didn't know what I was doing. So I was just trying everything. I still don't know (laughs) what I'm doing. But, yeah. Yeah. But it still helped to see someone, like, up close and personal, uh, like, kind of in the midst of transitioning. Um, Yeah. It made it more, um, excuse me, um it made it more of a uh, more of an approachable thing i guess like uh, instead of being this like unachievable like mystery thing yeah. it was like oh no like it's this is actually like a thing and like i saw sierra like i saw you actually like doing things and like trying things and yeah yeah and then i like did your hair like for the first time? Yeah, <laughs> she, she kept got begging a me. You were like begging me to let you do my hair, and I was just like, I finally like gave <sighs> in this during one break. time. Yeah, because I was like, oh god, like I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I don't want to be going to class looking crazy. <laughs> So I was just like, I think it was like during break or it was like right before break or something. I was like, fine. I was like, fine. Like you could do my hair. Um, But that was like, you were still transitioning. So it was like, you know, you can't really tell like how your actual curl pattern is going to look when you're like. Yeah, no, it looked a hot mess. It just looked looked all sorts of messed up. I was like, what is, I was like, oh, well, clearly I cannot go natural. This is not it. Yeah, and I was like, no, this is just like, so you could see like kind of what it'd be like, but like your hair is going to change so much like by the time you stop. My hair was not having it. My hair was like, (laughs) No, this isn't but it was what so we cute. do. <laughs> mm, I'd be willing to debate that. Uh, but you know, it was a step and it was like it was like, okay, well, how do I do this in a way where my hair won't turn out crappy? <laughs> um, <laughs> um so I I guess I tried some stuff on my own and I at least piqued my curiosity in it. So I did watch a few like uh, YouTube videos, which we, you know, secretly I'd, I'd watch a lot of Sierra's YouTube videos where I wouldn't tell her that I was watching her videos. I was just like, yeah, cause I, you know, I didn't want to be all like, Oh yeah, you're right. You know, I was too prideful for that. So I was just kind of like, I'm just going to low key watch some of these videos, you know? Oh my God. Uh, surprise! Yeah, no, but um, no, you have to watch other people because you were teaching me stuff after a while. Well, I I watched everything. Like I watched your videos. I watched other people's videos. Um, and I finally just kind of came to the conclusion. I was like, my hair is so far gone from all of these years of like perming and straightening, and I was just like fed up, and I wanted to be athletic again and i wanted it to and, oh and and we lived in savannah which is like the, the most humid <laughs> place on earth and yes. my hair was not having it ever 
so I was just tired. Like, honestly, I was just tired. I think you had of, to, like, re-straighten it, like, almost every like, day. Every day, which was horrible. And, like, I could literally, like, smell my hair, like, burning because I was, like, straightening it so much. It was not good. Um, so my hair was pretty done. And I was like, yeah, like, this isn't gonna look right is that when you got so, the haircut and then because you yeah. dyed your hair and you got like a shorter haircut but not as short as your hair is now yeah that was just that was just what uh, that that was just a fail that was just no really you didn't like that no, no. i was just trying to do something different and... oh i didn't know that <laughs> i was just like i don't know what's happening um so then I finally got like my actual haircut and I just wait wait, wait 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 no because no okay <laughs> no you got like you had that then you got the haircut like over break and then you were like in France and I was like what like wait like you would because your hair when you cut your hair you cut it really short and like shave down the sides, I think. I don't remember exactly, mm -hmm. but like, I think it was like pretty drastic. Like, I don't know what happened in between time. I guess, were you just fed up or like? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I was just fed up with everything. Like, I, I just didn't even want to. I didn't know you didn't like the other haircut and the hair dye. No, like my hair was stressing me out. Oh, okay. And like, Aww. especially going to uh, going to France and studying abroad and all that. Like, I didn't want to spend that entire time abroad, like worrying constantly about my hair. Like, mm -hmm. I literally wanted to just go over, enjoy my time, like not think about any of that at all um so yeah so I just I cut it all off <laughs> um I mean I left a little bit on on there um I feel like that was the shortest it's been uh yeah yeah no did you my get it shaved down then, then too no no not really at at that time it was just kind of like short all over like it wasn't really like it was a little bit longer on the top but it was pretty much the same length like throughout like maybe a little shorter on the sides but it wasn't like shaved down or anything oh, okay so it was your big yeah. chop uh yeah i guess yeah <laughs> So how was that, like, going into France and then, like, now you're really, like, really committing to the natural thing? I guess, I guess, um, did it feel like a relief or just how did you feel then? Yeah, no, that was, um, it was great. I didn't have to, I didn't worry about my hair, like, at all. Like, I just kind of like I wanted to do I was able to just enjoy my time um and uh yeah I, and I liked my hair that short um were you finger were you finger coiling at that time like when did you uh, like learn yeah, all of that because when I was at the place and whatever she was cutting my hair and like there were still certain parts of my hair because it was that damaged that like even as short as she cut it, there were still parts of my hair that were damaged. Um. Um, so she showed me kind of like the finger curling thing. Like she showed me that um, as like a thing I could do, like if it wasn't curling the way, like it wasn't curling up the way I wanted to. Mm hmm. So she was just like, oh, yeah, here's a technique. Like, here, you can do this. And I was just like, oh, okay. And I kind of, like, took that and ran with it. Like, instead of just doing it on the parts that, like, wouldn't naturally curl, I was just like, I'm going to do this all over my head. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so that started the era of that. <laughs> the finger coiling. Um, 
It's yeah, also so a video of Clark finger <laughs> on my YouTube channel teaching oh, everyone. Because I was like, how um, are you doing this? <laughs> oh, man. I forgot that's out there on the World Wide <laughs> Web. Yikes. Then, you did my hair one time, but it took you like forever. <laughs> yeah, never again. I was like, this Stopped is Stopped so midway. I guess I literally had to take like a two hour break in the middle. Like I was like, I because I have like all of my hair, even on the sides. Yeah, I was like, this is too much. I've never experienced anything so painful. No, I'm just kidding. What? But I'm just kidding. But <laughs> it was a lot. It took a long time. Um, which yeah, I mean, I guess uh, as my hair was growing out it was starting to take longer too, um, to do the finger coiling thing. Cause I mean, it's literally like coiling every single like piece of your hair. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Is that when you decide to yeah. cut it? No. Cut it shorter, Matt? like the sides? Oh, I don't even know when, like, what spurred that. I was just like, my hair is getting really big, and I feel like it's not doing anything. Weren't you doing the? Weren't you doing the sponge? Yeah, it was just, but it was it was to the point where the curl sponge thing wasn't even working on anymore because my hair was so long. Um, um, and it was just like growing out everywhere and I was like I don't really know what to do anymore like my hair is just growing and I don't know I wanted it to have some kind of shape to it instead of just being this like out of control monster that was like taking over my head Um, so I don't know I just saw a bunch of like reference pictures of like how I liked other people's hair and I was just like yeah I kind of just want my hair like that so I figured I cut down the sides and I remember I didn't even know how to go about doing that I actually it was Sammy actually who gave me my first kind of like haircut on the, yeah she was like I, and she didn't know what she was doing either I literally just like handed her some scissors and I was like I don't really know what to tell you just like cut it down on the sides oh I remember that oh yeah, I just, like, grabbed a piece of my hair. Like, I grabbed, like, the top section of my hair, and I just, like, put that in a, like, in a, like, a clip or something like that. And then, like, I was just, like, yeah, just, like, cut off the rest. Like, we didn't even have clippers. I was just, like, here, take these scissors and cut my hair. <laughs> um, And, you know, credit to Sammy. Like, it actually turned out good. Like, I, by some miracle, because, like, if you'd given me those scissors... I would have been looking a hot mess. Um, So somehow without clippers and just scissors, she actually did an amazing job and cut my hair. And then I think like maybe like a month after that, I was just like, okay, well, it's growing back again and it's too short for me to really do anything with scissors. So I was like, okay, I need to go to a barber shop. Um, So that's when I, I started going to a barbershop uh, to like cut down the sides and stuff. Cause I knew I, I knew I wanted to keep that at a shorter length than the rest of my hair. How was that experience at the barbershop? It was fine. It was a little nerve wracking um, at first going in there. Um, Cause you feel like everyone already knows each other and you're just walking in like, Hey, and like, I don't know, <laughs> like most of the, most of those guys, like their dads had brought them in at a young age and like, they'd been going yeah. there for like eight years. And like, I walk in as some like college kid and like literally didn't even know the terminology for like what to even tell them what to do to my hair. <laughs> I was just like, uh, just cut it in a way that doesn't make it look bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, was literally, wow. I was just like, yeah, I don't even know what to tell you, man. Just, just please, cut <laughs> just cut it down. I don't know what the term is. Just like cut it. Um, and then like over time, like the barber shop I went to in Savannah um, was like, 
I actually I really liked them. Like they were really cool people, and uh, I I think I had like maybe like two two different barbers that I went to go see there, and like they kind of like without being too like uh, patronizing, they just kind of showed me like. They were like, oh, yeah, like, here's what you say. Like, you know, these are the different guides you put on the clippers. And, like, you know, you choose the different, like, number guide depending on, like, how short you want your hair. So you can, like, tell your barber, like, what number you want. Um, They told me, like, different terms, like, fades and, like, uh, the difference between, like, a fade and a taper and, like, uh, like squaring off like your top or like rounding it out or like there's like so what? many different like yeah it's just like so many different things like terms and stuff like that they taught me so like that was really cool of them um they're really well, cool about i know it. nothing about that yeah <laughs> <laughs> you should cut your hair <laughs> oh gosh i do want to one day sammy told me i can't go that short though Sammy's just traumatized by her own experience. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. To each their own. But it is something you should think about before you just do it. Yeah, I was watching the video that you and um, the curl talk video with you and Sammy and my sister and you're like the main thing you kept saying was like oh besides like oh my head's always cold. (laughs) You were like it is you always cold says, like um oh before you cut it just cut it and then like don't cut it as short but like cut it longer and so you can kind of see where you want it because if you cut yeah. it too short, you know can't just have it back and so yeah. Was like, yeah my hair is not going growing as fast as i thought it would <laughs> but yeah i don't know maybe maybe one day i don't know about this year Maybe like 2020 or something. (laughs) (laughs) But how do you feel about your hair now? And like, do you have any plans for your hair or like changing it up or anything? I don't know. Chop it all off again. No, I'm just kidding. Um, (laughs) Yeah, no, I mean, I like my hair now. I feel like it fits me. Um, I don't do the, I don't do the coily thing anymore. Like, my hair oh, is kind of, really yeah you didn't know that you do wash and goes <laughs> yeah i just do wash and goes because my hair is like healthy enough to actually curl up by itself these days so that's nice oh, what products um, do you use <laughs> um <laughs> i um i use shea moisture's uh, conditioner uh the, the low porosity uh conditioner because i learned what? that my yeah, because I learned that my hair has low porosity, and that's you why. You tested your hair, Clark. No, you're more I... natural than I am. I'm done. Uh, uh, t- <laughs> 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 I didn't test it. I just figured it out. Like I don't know. I I went to this. I went to this. Um, I went to this place here in LA, and um, this lady was doing my hair. Uh, she's great, uh, Marissa at We Dad. We dad, oh, we dad, cool. yeah, yeah. They're like, uh, it's like a curl like specialist place. Like, yeah, I was trying I've to be, I was trying to products. be real fancy. I was like, I'm going to someone who's legit. Like, I don't want someone to mess up my hair. So, <laughs> I was like, I need the best of the best. Um, so I and obviously I can't afford to go there on a regular basis. But as like as far as like maintenance, like every few months kind of thing, like it's it's really cool. Um. And everyone and everyone there is like super knowledgeable and uh Marissa's great and she's like she's super knowledgeable. She was like, Yeah, you should she just told me she was like, You should try out um like the low porosity stuff. Like she was like, I haven't tried it myself, but I heard it was like really uh good and she told me she was like, Yeah, you like your hair, I feel like your hair is, is like low porosity because she was just she was like uh she asked me to like describe, I guess, like any like kind of problems I have with my hair and the thing was I feel like my hair uh doesn't absorb things well whether that's like just water and moisture or product like it literally like everything just like sits on top of my hair like it does not absorb it at all Mm. um 
so the thing with the low porosity thing is that it's like made for hair like that and so the product actually does get into my hair and it, it actually absorbs it and so my hair has just been a lot more healthier um since then that and i had to um i went ahead and chopped off all of the parts of my hair that were dyed because those ends were pretty much dead like they needed to go um <laughs> And so once I did those two things, my hair was just like, wow, I'm happy now. I'm going to actually do what you want me to do. And I was like, wow, thanks. <laughs> um, I, I need to try that because I feel like my hair is like dead and I don't know what to do with it. So I, yeah, I feel like you gotta, I definitely need new products. Yeah, you got to, one, take care of those ends. And then two, um yeah, try the low porosity stuff because that might be a solution. Um, obviously, everyone's hair is different, but like, yeah, it works really well for me. Yeah, I know um, they have a high porosity too. So yeah, way. exactly. So it's like, yeah, it's like whatever side of the spectrum you're on um, should be pretty good. Um, I don't have so, you. That's my like hair cut cutter. <laughs> <laughs> I need a trim yeah. really bad. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll have to I just cut my hair the other day. I was looking at a video of like how to trim your own hair. And I was like, oh, God, yeah. last, time I, last time I did that turned out horrible. But I was just like, <laughs> did you twist it I'm, up? No, I didn't do any of that fancy stuff. Oh. I, was just like, I just like there's a certain way you can kind of like divide it and like look at it. Like, like instead of I kept on trying to like. I don't know how I was trying to cut my hair, but it didn't make any sense. I would like take it like section by section and like try to just cut it, like eyeball it and just try to cut it the same length. But that's really stupid because like no one's good that good at eyeballing stuff. So like, <laughs> so <laughs> like wait, I was just, how, how do you? So do I was that? just like cutting. I was like cutting my hair all sorts of different lengths, and it made no sense. <laughs> I started doing my hair like granted I don't really know like I think it'd be a little more difficult for longer hair maybe but like for me like I just I part it uh like back or I guess I did front to back or back to front either way but like uh horizontally <laughs> like horizontally part it and then do that like make that a section and you just cut it you like make it you like grab it and you like put it so it's all like standing up or whatever and then you just literally cut it in the shape of like your head oh, like, but all your so hair it, comes forward to your face yeah so i just yeah i mean this yeah. is hard to visualize it's hard to visualize so <laughs> do you know what video you watch I literally, and this is crazy, this is going to sound like the most hilarious thing ever, but I literally took the technique from watching some white dude cut his hair. <laughs> like, I literally, like, you would think I, I, you know, I went to some, like, curly person, like, I, like, some famous natural hair person on YouTube, but, like, no. Like, literally, I was just, like, browsing around on video on YouTube one day. And I was watching this dude cut his hair. And I was like, that actually makes a lot of sense. Um, you have to send me this link. I want to see this. Okay. Yeah. it's. I'm interested. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I just think I should like do my hair normally and then like cut different little pieces. But then I want to cut like all of like most of the ends because I know I have split ends or, you know, it's just time to cut them. Yeah. But, like, I don't know if I should, like, twist it up and, like, small twists and then cut, like, some of the ends and then style it and then, like, also cut just to shape it. Mm. I don't know. I still haven't done it, so I'm not, like... Well, the thing with that, I feel like... Um, and I feel like I low-key tried that one time and it was a disaster. Um, because I feel no. like... When you, yeah, because I feel like when you twist up your hair like that, you're missing a lot of yeah that's true your hair, you know my hair is like so many different lengths 
yeah exactly so you're you're really only cutting like the longest piece of hair and you have so many other short pieces that are like braided all up in that twist that you just did and like those ends are completely like ignored Clark you just need to make a YouTube video to just teach all of us (laughs) I literally don't know what I'm doing I I, I don't know (laughs) Well, it sounds like it came out great, and you your hair looked amazing lately, so I'm just, you know, trying to, you know, see what I can learn from you, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I would be happy to share the knowledge, or the so-called knowledge. I don't know what I, you know, share. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> the next time... I guess I have to fly out to LA and, you know, bring my filming equipment. Mm-hmm. Sounds great. <laughs> <It's> a business trip. <laughs> business trip. Yeah. Maybe you can like get it funded. Like, uh, this is a business trip. So if Ooh. you guys could just, you know, pay for my flight out here for my business, that'd be great. Yes. Anyone want to sponsor me? We're going to make this yeah. video so we can have, you know, this curly hair cutting tutorial to be perfect. Exactly. Yeah. That would be good, actually. Yeah, but let's do yeah. It. <laughs> okay, I guess is that everything? Uh, is that your whole journey? I guess so. Uh, I think you're feeling great about your hair. You have like, you have your products. You have your haircut. Do you like yeah, shave your head on? The, do you shave your hair on the side now, or do you still go to the barber shop? Uh, a mix of both. So I. Uh, to save money pretty much week to week I just I bought a pretty good pair of clippers and I I just uh, I just shaved my hair down Um, but I do not trust myself with my hairline (laughs) (laughs) at all at all like I've tried it and I've messed up I I didn't even tell y'all like when I was home during the break I had messed up hair and I just hit it really well um because I was <laughs> I was yeah just this last break I hit it really well like no one noticed it was so great but like I literally had my clippers and I went in to trim up my hair like I usually do and I guess I was distracted or something but I forgot to put the guide on so I you know I put the clipper up to my head you know ready to go to town and I, I freaking like shaved like a whole a big old chunk out of the side of my head, head with no guide, which meant it was pretty much just bald. <laughs> what? And it was just like this bald okay. chunk. Yeah, it was like this bald chunk on the side of my head. And I was like, are you serious right now? Okay, don't worry. We won't film you with the clippers. We'll just film you with the shears. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like I, I can, I'm, I'm okay when I'm focused, but yeah, I guess I just got distracted. It, this was literally like the day before Christmas too. So I was like, I'm literally about to see my entire family and I have this like giant bald spot in on the side of my head. But like, luckily it was close enough to the top that with my hair styled down, it pretty much covered it. So I just did that all break. I was just like, oh this hair, God. I was like, this this hair has got to be super long and it's got to be always pushed to one side. And that's just what I did <laughs> all break. Like usually I just or wear my wear hair. The to hat. The- yeah, or the hat. Yeah, the hat helped me too. But I didn't even wear the hat that much. I just, I just had my hair pushed to the side and like, I usually wear it to the front, but I was just like, no, like we're rocking this low key emo looking like hair to the, hair to the side thing this whole break because this is not okay. Um, oh lord! So, so yeah, that was an Secret's experience. Secrets out now. Secrets out. Surprise. Yeah, but I I handled it's grown it. Grown back. So it's yeah, it's grown back now. I just I let it grow out and then I just trimmed it down so that everything was the same length and yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, but I still I guess the point of that whole long story was that um, (laughs) for like special occasions and stuff, I still I go to the barber and I let them uh, it's just called a lineup. So they just kind of clean it up a little bit and 
trim up like my hairline so it doesn't look all raggedy and whatnot um so you so can I look just, fresh yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> so I do that but on a weekly basis I usually just trim it up myself or whatever cool yeah well now we're gonna move into the curly five and these are five questions we ask every guest to get you to know you more and a little bit more about your hair I guess okay so number one if you could only have one hair product what would it be it could be specific or general I don't I don't use the eco styler gel anymore I use uh it's called like clear ice something like that but it's essentially the same thing um but I would choose that just only because like my hair naturally curls up pretty nicely now but that putting that product in as well does like it helps define everything a bit better Mm -hmm. um so and it kind of helps stretch it out a little bit better because my hair naturally shrinks up a lot so Mm -hmm. with that product in it makes my hair look a bit longer then if I didn't it would like shrink up a lot um so yeah you like that better than the eco styler because Sammy said eco styler gel yeah no I I used to that used to be like my thing like I used to be with eco styler but I use the clear ice um stuff um Ella actually showed me that which is ironic because she uses eco styler again now so I don't know what's going on with that but um I like it better because it kind of leaves your hair softer than the Eco Styler did. Like, I feel like the Eco Styler was great for like holding everything, but it sometimes if you put if you messed up and put too much, uh, it would be yeah, kind of like true. crunchy and you know it just it's not a little flaky. Yeah, a little flaky, a little stiff. Um, but <laughs> this other, um, yeah, the clear ice stuff, it it's like a little lighter, I think, on your hair. And I like the way it smells too. Um, yeah. But it's like lighter and it, I think it leaves your hair like a little softer than the other ones. So, cool. Yeah. Wash and goes or twist outs? Uh, wash and goes. <laughs> Just cause, yeah. Do you do twist outs? I did for a while. That was kind of like my in-between step. Like after I stopped uh, the finger, finger coiling. coiling, I did twist yeah. out. And then now I just do wash and goes because twist outs take two. Like basically I just, it was like <laughs> me, it was basically just me getting like progressively lazier over time. Like I was like, <laughs> what can I do that takes the least amount of time basically? Jump out the shower and go. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Like that's where I'm at right now. That's what my where my patience level is at. Like I, I do anything extra and above that it's just like no oh my gosh if you could go back in time what would you say to your younger self about your hair um i'd just be like hey like it's all right kid like there are so many different ways you can wear your hair you you don't have to be married to like one idea of what your hair is supposed to look like and you can do whatever you want and yeah just don't feel tied down to like one thing and don't put any chemicals in it like don't mess up your hair like that (laughs) stop tell mom no (laughs) yeah like no don't do that if if it's not natural it should not be going in your head like (laughs) oh my gosh Clark is a mother (laughs) honestly (laughs) what's one tip or trick that you've learned with your hair I guess that you haven't shared maybe if you have um just uh you actually shared a lot of tips so yeah I guess so um I don't know if I have any more I mean just water is good for you (laughs) (laughs) is there like a special fruit or something that you eat I'm just kidding (laughs) no but I do eat pineapples a lot so what (laughs) If that has any good effects, I'm getting them. Okay. Eat more pineapples. Yep. And the last one is, what is some advice you would give to someone looking to start embracing their natural hair? 
Um, or maybe I, even cut it. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I guess the advice either way would be all the same. It's just like, uh, it, it's a process. Like, don't expect you to just wake up and everything be exactly the way you want. Like, you just kind of have to get used to, like, figuring out, like, everyone's hair is different. So, like, you can listen mm-hmm. to, like, all the tips and stuff in the world, but, like, your hair is going to behave differently um, to some extent. I mean, you know. But, um, yeah, just, like, trust the process. Like, just go through the process of it and don't freak out if it doesn't turn out exactly how you want. Like, give it some time and your hair is going to do its thing. Like, just let it do its thing. Like, honestly, half of this is just about getting out of the way of your hair and like letting it do what it wants to do and not trying to manipulate it in all these different ways like just let it come naturally out of your head yeah (laughs) and just be (laughs) yeah and then like maybe enhance it a little with a few products right right and give it some moisture yeah like take care of it but don't manipulate it if you don't have to yeah but she shouldn't have to, you know. Yeah. I just think it's crazy. I like how you were saying that you felt like there was only one way. And I know like we're just talking about hair, but how like much stress you felt about your hair and then like what you didn't know, how you didn't know what to do with it. And then you only thought there was one way to do it. I think that's just like crazy. I don't know if you look back at it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like, whoa no (laughs) okay well (laughs) thanks clark for coming on the show um do you have any socials or anything you want to share because you're pretty tumblr famous so um i guess if people want to see you yeah hit me up on uh tumblr with uh (laughs) my name clark c-l-a-r-k-e but five e's because <laughs> i'm that extra so literally like c-l-a-r-k-e-e-e-e-e and my instagram is the same thing just an underscore in the beginning so underscore c-l-a-r-k-e-e-e-e-e what is that with us and the E's? I have like three E's and you have five. So. It's honestly because people keep taking all the good yeah. usernames and I refuse. I refuse. I don't know what it is, but I just refuse. I'm not going to put a number in my username. <laughs> I'm not going to put a number. Like I, I, re- I literally rather add all the extra letters ever before I put a number in my name. Like, I'm not going to be like Clark zero one. Like, no, (laughs) that's not, that's not going to work. 95. Yeah. 90, like not even birth year and stuff. Like, I'm sorry, that's not going to work. Like, I'm not going to be like a birth year. Like, no, I'm just going to put like, I'd rather put like five E's and literally I put the least amount of number E's I could like some annoying person literally had Clark with four E's Clark with three E's Clark with two E's and Clark with one E. So guess what? I'm number five, but you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for joining the show. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Clark's so cool. And I'm so happy that she doesn't see her hair as a major stressor in her life anymore. And she gave some great tips. Here's a few takeaways. Number one, Always stay eager to learn new techniques and about new products. Whether it be from YouTube videos, friends, or stylists, Clark herself had a lot to learn and now feels a lot more confident with her hair. Number two, bite the bullet and go to the barber or even the curl specialist salon and learn those terms and techniques. Number three, if your hair is dry and not taking in moisture, look into low porosity products. And number four, trust the process and get out of the way of your hair. That wraps up episode four of the Proud and Curly podcast. If you felt like this episode was helpful and inspiring, share it with someone who needs to hear it. And go ahead and check out the first three episodes.
that were posted last week. Thank you guys so much for your support and I will talk to you next week. All right, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for listening to the Proud and Carly podcast. If you like the podcast, please show your support by leaving a rating on the Apple Podcast app. It helps me so much and it also helps other people find the show. Special thanks to Terrence Esquire Huggins for producing the music in this podcast. You can always check out his website, SoundCloud, and follow him on social media at Esquire Music 111. All of his links are in the show notes. If you're looking for more curly content, be sure to follow us on Instagram. But until next Friday, stay proud and curly.